Okay, so today is the beginning of day nine. Our wheatgrass has gone through eight full days of growth, and today is the day we are going to do our evaluation. So this is a, just a quick look at my setup. Um, I'm going to first do an overhead photo like I've been doing uh, on uh, with uh, every day uh, since I've uncovered. I'm going to do two photos. One is going to be a close-up uh, with the uh, uh, cell pack on here, and then I'm going to take that away and do one below. Uh, then I'll be analyzing those photos with the app Canopio, like I talked about, uh, just to look at the percent coverage of, of foliage. Then I'm going to bring the cell pack here, and I've got a ruler here, so I'm just going to measure the height. And I'm going to kind of use like a, an average sort of uh, uh, sense of, of what the height is, because as I'm sure you know, uh, you don't have perfectly uh, the same height uh, of all the blades. And then uh, I will uh, weigh each cell pack as well. So just I will cut and weigh it just to see what the weight is there. And that'll be our overall analysis there. I'll make any notes on each one as, as I go, even though with, these, with the wheatgrass things are fairly uniform and as uh, I would expect. Uh, it's hard to see a lot of different growth with these so far. Uh, if I was to just look from a little further away, this almost looks like one tray. But looking a little closer, I can see some subtle differences. So I'll be really curious to see how this uh, turns out when we get our data collected. So I'll do all this. This is going to take a good portion of the morning. Uh, then I will uh, put that into the spreadsheet and get ready to start analyzing that data. So I'll share a little bit of this process as I get into it. I'm going to do my photos next and then uh, yeah, we'll go into measuring. So we've taken pictures uh, of above from all of our of all of our cells. I did two pictures this time. One was the exact same picture I've been doing already, and then one was just a little from a little further back. That way we get a broader look at things. And as I talked about, I'll be analyzing those with uh, Canopio. Now the next step here is is two things. Uh, one is to uh, I'm going to measure the height, uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring each cell pack up here, and I'm going to kind of and this is maybe not the best science, but still gives me a sense of things. I'm going to get a good sense of looking at this at where is my height when I look at it straight on. Obviously all the blades of, of wheatgrass are going to be different heights, but I get a sense of, you know, this is, I'm going to call this 19.5 uh, centimeters. So what I'm going to do is only do uh, 0.5 um, uh, uh, separation, so I won't do 19.2 or anything like that. Even 0.5 is getting maybe a little accurate. But try, just trying to be as, as good as I can. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the weight. And so I've got my scale here, which has an auto shut off feature, which is infinitely annoying because it defaults to Imperial and it's really uh, weird. Okay, so now I'm going to go through and I'm going to cut the tray because I want to weigh it. So uh, for each one, I'm going to make sure that my knife is well honed and nice and sharp. And then I'm going to go through and just cut this right at the base. And that one as well. That's 15 grams. All right. And so that one is done. So I've cut my tray. I've got the weight. And this is now actually all done. That's going to be my wheatgrass juice for this morning. That goes back on there. We make sure that's to zero. I move that out of the way and then I move on to the next one. So what I'm doing here is I'm going through and I'm um, uh, I'm going to do these in order. I've, I've put them in the order in the tray here. I'll go through these as quickly as I can. Uh, and then I'll, I'll enter the information into this spreadsheet right away. And in some of these I'm already going to get um, uh, I'm going to get some uh, uh, data already. So my harvest to sow ratio is going to um, uh, autofill already. Uh, I, I'm not really going to do anything with the data right now because it's just there's just nothing to do. Uh, but some of the data will start to show up and it's going to be when we graph this and take a look at it all together where we can see patterns emerging. Uh, I'll also be making notes if I see anything on here. Um, while I was doing the photos I noticed some of them did have some disease. So what I uh, might do actually is a dis disease ranking um, or at least notes on disease uh, for this part as well. Uh, generally they're good and even disease at this point actually means nothing to me. The, the crop can still be cut unless it's contaminated but a little bit of mold on the soil surface actually even from a commercial perspective isn't a big deal for, for me with wheatgrass as long as it's not getting up and uh, contaminating the grass itself. We often see that on, on the uh, seeds on the soil surface there. 
which is another factor to take into consideration with your sewing density is, is I've experienced that a higher sewing density means more risk of mold on the soil surface uh, because of the density of seed. So we'll see if we can see that pattern in here as well and make some comments on it. So I'm going to go through all these. Uh, I'll go through enter the data and then uh, do a little summary at the end and then our next session will be doing the same thing tomorrow with the sunflower and it's probably going to take me a few days to get into the analysis of this. Uh, I have a lot of things on the go and it will take a little bit of time but when we do that I'll do a screencast with the uh, with the uh, spreadsheet and some of the charts and, and start to share some of that data and what that looks like. So uh, yeah I'm going to get on to this. This is how I'm going to be spending my morning and we'll see you in the next session. So let me quickly show, quickly show you my process here. Put the uh, tray up here. Take a quick look on the line there. Give it a good estimate. This one I already did at 20.5 centimeters. Bring the tray down here. Make sure the knife is super sharp for each cut. And then I'm trying to make sure I don't drop anything when I'm doing the cut. So I get a good grasp on that. Make sure I get everything in there. And then take my measurement there. So that's the process that I go through for each of the trays. And then these go into my juicing pile there. Set that back. And once again, the tray goes up. Recording that, bring it back down here, quick sharpen. Having a really, really sharp knife is super important so you're not tearing the, the blades and messing things up. So this, uh, I'm being very careful to, to cut everything at the same height as well. Make sure I get all the blades, fell off there, and then recording the value there. And then my last tray in rep one here goes there. And already I'm seeing some interesting patterns emerge, which is super intriguing. Another thing I've been doing is making sure that the, the leaves are quite dry um, if anything is too wet. So 20. Uh, just to make sure that's that we're not weighing water and including that in our weight. Make sure that's teared. And our last one in this rep here. Going through, getting a nice even cut again. That's a good one. All right. So now for rep one, I've done all my height, all my measurements. Uh, I didn't really have any comments to make. So basically that one rep is done. There's no more measurements to take place. So I have my initial rating, which I just did on a one to five scale, if you'll remember that. Uh, with the wheatgrass, we didn't really do a measurement when we uncovered it, there was nothing to measure. Uh, but here we've measured our height and our weight for each cell, and we know our sewing rate. So we can graph a relationship between the sewing rate and the height uh, and the uh, uh, weight as well. Um, we can look at different ratios, and it's, yeah, it's actually quite interesting, some of the numbers that are coming out already. Uh, basically seeing an increase and then a kind of leveling off with a few things. So this will be really interesting to see uh, once it's graphed up so we can see some patterns there. So I'm going to go through and do the second rep uh, and that'll be all my stuff for today. I definitely won't be able to analyze the data today uh, but we'll get into that uh, pretty quickly. So that is um, that is basically the, the taking measurements portion here. Uh, now there's all sorts of things you could do. Like another thing you could do for example is once you have um, done your cut here, you could randomly select 10 blades, and I've done this before with Sunflower, randomly select 10 blades, measure that height precisely to the millimeter, and then do a, an average that way. And you just have to make sure you're doing a, a total random selection. So that's a way of getting a more accurate look at the height is, is by doing something like that. That's gonna take a long time. And at the home scale or even a commercial scale, unless you're doing genuine uh, academic research, I, I don't think that level of detail is gonna benefit you that much. Uh, one thing I would say with the weight is, um, now my lowest measurement was 15 grams. But there's a big difference between 15.2 and 15.8. Uh, 
And because I don't have uh, tenths of a gram on my scale, I feel I'm missing out a little bit on that. But once again, uh, I don't need that level of accuracy for home, and so I'm not gonna go out and spend a couple hundred bucks on a really good scale to do that. Uh, if I was gonna do these trials all the time, I might think about that. But uh, yeah, I think it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a little too much. So what I'm trying to do is, is make this practical and effective at the same time by making things as quick as possible. And what's nice is like this is done, the data sits there. I don't need to do anything with the data. I'm just making sure I get things harvested so I can uh, uh, do the evaluation at the optimum time. So just a few things to keep in mind there. Yeah, I'll go through and do rep two and then uh, we'll check in tomorrow to do the same thing with the sunflower.